All right, now I want to try to do some clarification on this business about the abdomen. Some people ask me, what is the abdomen? Okay, if I use different methods, let's say I use the sigh method. I breathe in, and then I go, oh, and I do the famous sigh method behind the sternum. So I go, oh, I've let go of my abdomen completely. So Caruso said in his book, he said, draw the abdomen in when you breathe and then do a contrary motion. Well, a contrary motion means I have to let the abdomen out if I pull it in. And he said very clearly, pull it in when you breathe. And so did Lily Lemon, by the way. Lily Lemon used what was called the breath jerk, which means you jerk the abdomen in right before you breathe. You go. Then when you start to sing, she said, put the pressure on the chest. So I go. Still not using the abdomen. So any of the methods that where you draw the abdomen in when you breathe lowers that lowers the back half of the diaphragm. Went through this with a pulmonologist. And it lowers the back half of the diaphragm and can double your breath capacity. And the bigger the drum, the bigger the sound. So if I can get a bigger breath, I can get more color. What the Italians call chiaro scuro. Chiaro is the is, is the phonation. Ah, dame la tazza cafe, mamma mia. And then to make it round and give it any color, I need to breathe. If my breath is shallow, I get ah, 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 and it sounds like heck. So I try to go. And now I'm going to drop it. In this case, I'm going to sigh behind my sternum. So I go. Ah, That's a sign method right behind the sternum. That's Claudia Muzio and Tito Schipa what they talked about, as far as we know. Lottie Volpe used some of it also. Now, if I do a contrary motion, I do the, the, the whole Caruso breathe way in the back, and then do a contrary motion, which means I've got to relax my diaphragm, so it turns my sigh into a deeper one. Instead of sighing behind the sternum and placing the pressure of the breath here, I, what's called appoggio, appoggiare, instead of leaning here, I take a big breath, and I drop it down here, or I drop it, I'm doing a contrary motion. So I'm going to sigh my abdomen, so I go, let me breathe first, here we go. Way down the lower back, abdomen in, contrary motion. I'm still completely relaxed and dropping my belly. There are so many ways to support, there are so many ways to sing, and I've talked about the German method where you attack while you're still breathing in. It's still, it's still more like a tennis net, it's not like a brick wall, but it's tighter than it is if I do the sign method, right? So if I breathe, I go, what if I do a bus stop? That's the inward one. Ah, completely loose. What if I do an exhalation? Ah, the idea is the abdomen has no function. Went through this with Dame Ava Turner and Helga Rosvenga and a lot of famous singers uh, who use who did who would not allow anything to happen in the abdomen. Some of them did. Someone like uh, like Leonard Warren would sort of freeze the abdomen. I did a video the other day called the static diaphragm, and they would carry the static still quality into the abdominal uh, area and hold it dead still. And then, in Leonard Warren's case, he used the pre-sneeze. So you go, ah, 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 and the voice up here, and then you sing like that. Ah. Now my abdomen's pretty tight, but I can sing that way. Oh, when I was a little boy, my mama always told me, Hey, haul away, oh, haul away, Joe. But that's holding the abdomen still with a muscular function that does not react badly in my throat. Some, some uh, abdominal, some body uh, flexing, some muscle flexing in the body causes a reaction in the throat. It makes you do that. So... Uh, in that case, he would do the pre-seize, 
and get the voice up in the mask and in the head up there. So it's way up above the nose. None of those are nasal, you know, I don't know if you could tell. But if I hold my nose while I'm singing, there will be no effect. So if I breathe and I go, let's start with the first sigh. Oh, that one. Ah, it's not nasal. Now let's do the contrary motion. Heavy, uh, the heavy side, the big side, and what you want to call it. It's a contrary motion to breathing in. So I'll breathe in, pull my abdomen in, breathe in my lower back, and go. Now I'm going to drop it. Ah, 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 completely loose. Ah, 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 still not my nose. Right? Then I'm going to do hold it still, right? Which means I'm flexing the muscles enough to hold it still. And I'm going to breathe behind me and I'm going to go. And now I'm going to do the free sneeze. There I go, ah, not my nose, and all of a sudden I'm doing about half tight in the abdomen. So this, this I wanted to clarify, some people wrote me questions and say, how do I keep it uh, loose while I'm singing it? Well, you keep it loose, look at my arm, my arm's loose. I'm not using my arm. If I want to do this, my arm's not loose. So don't use the muscle. If I... Uh, all you guys who are really confused about this should take yoga because yoga will teach you to draw the abdomen in by opening the ribs in the back by doing this. But as George London said, nothing moves unless the breathing moves it, unless the inhalation moves it. So if I want my back to open, I breathe into it. So I go, some singers think you should hold the ribs out like this and hold them that way, well, listen what's happening. All of a sudden, I'm getting all kinds of reactions in my throat from the action down here. So now I have to figure out some way to get my throat open. And guess what? I start sounding like some sort of lyric baritone or something. All of a sudden, I'm singing like that, see? Therefore, God, thank God, be And all of these action reaction systems are really what decide what you're gonna, what you're gonna sound like. I did one the other day on phonation, see? Phonation is just, how do I, what do I do in my throat to, to make my words? Do I say, ah, 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 oh, 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 ah, ah, what do I do? Well, Lampetti said that uh, the open throat is the same shape as the ah vowel in the Italian word, S-T-A-I. So if I go, sta, if you say in the polite form, come sta, ah, that's one ah. The one he said was the familiar form, come stai, dove vai. Because a fi, ah, ah. Now, that'll be a white sound if there's no breathing. So I go, ah, 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 ah. too white, too blabby. So I'm going to take a breath. And now I'm going to sigh that ah behind here. The whole time I'm going, ah. Now, if I do the same thing, and I sigh, I don't, I don't really think sigh now, and now I think contrary motion, but it is a deeper form of sighing. So I'm going to take a breath. Contrary motion will be let go and let the breath fall in a reverse process, in a mirror process. And I'm going to try to say stai, okay? So I go. Now, you decide, you know, maybe you hate my voice, that's fine, you don't like it, I'm a, uh, let's just say I sang 62 roles, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of performances, and somebody liked it, so, uh, I mean, having the reviews doesn't necessarily prove anything because you might, you might find a critic that likes you and somebody else doesn't like you. Robert Merrill, when they asked him in a master class I arranged and he came as my guest, um, uh, they asked him, uh, what is the most important thing to make a big career? And he said, you have to have the intelligence or the talent or whatever you want to call it to identify and understand when something is good or something is bad for you. He said, you have a hundred people, you get a hundred different opinions. One says it's too dark. The other says it's too bright. The other says, no, you got to pull your jaw down. One of my students auditioned in San Diego, uh, and she was doing Rosetta, of all things, a happy, smiling, caring young girl showing off her clothes. And she started singing, Quando men vo. And he said, oh, my God, what are you doing? Never smile. Oh, it'll make you tense. you got to keep your face relaxed like this. She said, what do you mean all the singers smile on that, are you? 
And on the video, she said, yes, but I do the hiring and firing. Well, guess what? They fired him. He's gone, thank God. They couldn't sell any tickets. Somebody was up there going, oh, 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 and uh, people hate that. You know, when I talk to you like that, why would I do that? So I'm going to find ways to sing that set my throat free. That's all. Look at this. See that? Now I want to take a breath. Which method of singing will set my throat free? It's right there. That was the sigh behind the sternum. Now let's start with the principle of contrary motion. I'm going to breathe down. I'm going to start singing see if my throat's free. So I don't have to worry about all of this. Uh, I got one student in Paris now. Uh, she's over there uh, in that studio. They have school over there. And she's trying to, they're telling her she's got to canal her voice. So now she's like this. She probably vocalized this way. I said, well, you know, it's up to you. I told her the Robert Merrill story. I said, you have to know what's good for you and what's bad for you. You have to decide, uh, do you like it? Or do you want to be free? Are you a free singer or a tight singer? Do you make tension oh, and then overcome it oh, by giving it some other action? So that's up to you. But I did want to clarify this minute about the abdomen. The abdomen should be loose. Look, ah, 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 ah. It's not doing anything. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna breathe by pulling way down in my lower back. Ah, 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 ah. It's even looser, if anything. See? Ah, 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 now my staccato. Ah, 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 ah. It's still loose. So how about how about uh, how about uh, trying to sing a mezzo So I go. I'm with you, that voice. Ah, 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 ah. It's even looser. See, uh, the whole idea is not to use it, to eliminate it as a possibility to breathe in. We have three places we can breathe in: chest, belly, and back. That means we have three places we can support from if you want to call it support from. The emission of the voice has to be even and steady, and it's either got to come from the chest, from the belly, or from the back. Well, in the old school, read Caruso, read Tetsuzzini, Lily Lehman, some of the great historical giants of the history of singing, and they all talk about breathing in the back. Now, those of you that read my book, I read this book called The Fundamentals of Great Vocal Technique, and in there, there are so many interviews and, and uh, uh, quotes uh, that I've gotten all, all over. I mean, I'm 80 years old now, and I've been getting these quotes for at least 60 years. I mean, since at least since I was 20, maybe even sooner. Uh, I think sooner, <laughs> maybe at least a year before that, when I think of my history. But the point is, every great singer I ever talked about had certain things they talked about: freedom of the throat, freedom of the jaw, freedom of of the of the tongue, uh, get the breath in a place where it doesn't tighten you up. So if I sing, if I breathe while I'm still breathing, if I sing while I'm still breathing in, I go. <laughs> so I'm free. Why can't I sing it? Why not? I've sung a lot of German that way. If I sing La Donne Mobile in Italian, I go like this. Right? Here we go. Psi method in the abdomen. I'm just trying to make a legato sound that is totally free in the throat. Okay. What if I do German breathing? Because I sing it in German too. I sing it a lot in German. That's Rigoletto in German. It's quite a mouthful. So I go. Oh, wie so trügerisch sind Weiber Herzen, mögen sie klagen, mögen sie scherzen. I sort of laugh when I think of some of these people. I've read some of their books, and they lock onto one technique. Oh, the ribs have to be out. Well, why don't you go talk to some people that have sung big operas in big places, uh, you know, for a long career? What does it mean to sing with a 130-piece orchestra in a five and a half thousand seat theater and do Meistersinger from Nuremberg, which is five and a half hours long, right? 
Now, am I really going to sing the whole opera like this? Well, you could. Why not? You know, I, I sang it, and I sang it uh, several different ways, and it's very hard to sing with, uh, with any kind of, you know, like some singers use staccato method. They go, ah, 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 ah. And they sing there. Lord of name of me there, why are you my then? Works like a charm. But what if I'm doing Wagner with a hundred, well, at least, probably 125, at least, nearly always done with the big orchestra, or they don't do the opera. Yeah. So if I breathe, how am I going to sing uh, Meister Singer? Right? It's quite a, it's quite a, cook because the big aria he sings, the famous Morgenlich Leucht and Imbrosig and Schein comes at the end of the opera. See? Don't forget, Siegmund in Valkyrie basically is all of his singing in the second act. It's big, but he sings. So, how do I sing that? So, I'm going to go contrary motion. Ein Schwert, wenn ich mir der Vater ist, fand es in höchster Not. Ich fand es in höchster Not. Waffenlos fiel ich in Feindes aus. Sein Rache fand raste ich hier. What should I be doing? How do I sing all these parts? And you know what? I started out with this video saying, let's clarify the abdominal process here, guys, so we don't have to worry about it so much. The truth is, I didn't use one abdominal flex in any of that Wagner. See, if I breathe. What am I going to do now? See, how am I going to sing? Am I going to flex my stomach? See, what am I going to do? Ein Schwert verhieß mir der Vater. My abdomen is not, it might get a little bit like a tennis net because I'm, my back is squeezing together like this and it's shoving my viscera. All my guts are being shoved into my abdominal cavity. So sometimes that might make a little pressure. But it is never like a brick wall. You do not prepare to be hit in the stomach, ever. You keep it so that it's always not part of the support method. Ah, uh, 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 how are you today? I'm fine. Let's go downtown and get something to eat. You can hear me talking. I'm saying everything I'm saying. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So if I use any kind of speech method when I sing, right, like this. Ah, uh, forza la soglia I'm just talking. Forza la soglia The abdomen has no function unless I produce one. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong. But if I do tighten this belly, you can hear it's coming on my vocal. Every action has an obstacle reaction. So I'm, 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 I'm going to have to do something now to neutralize the reaction. So I make another action. So I go, first of all, tense my belly. Now I got my abdomen tight. Feel that? Now, what do I do to get that little bit of tension out of my sound? So I do that. Now I can sing that way. Why not? Especially if there's not any other tenors available, right? So I can go, hello, how are you today? Hard as a rock. Before I was singing it, I was completely loose here. When you flex these muscles, any muscle you flex gets shorter. So if I flex these muscles, they get shorter and it pulls up on my larynx. Now, you shouldn't hold your larynx down. People that depress the larynx don't really understand the open throat at all because the whole point of the throat is that it doesn't exist. Uh, Dame Ava Turner called it the invisible throat, the invisible jaw, and the invisible tongue. So if every time I take a breath, one thing I can do if I really relax my throat every time I take a deep breath, my larynx goes down. My larynx goes down way down here. Now, if I, if I don't go which pushes my larynx back up, if I don't let all my air go, if I use what Lee Lehman called the breath stop, what the Italians called a poncho, which means leaning, I take a breath, I go, then I go, ah, you know I'm fine. I don't have to do anything. The larynx stays where it is because there's nothing to press it back up, push it back up. So I breathe way down, Hi, how are you today? So nice to be here. I'm talking like that. I can talk anywhere in my range. How are you today? So nice to be here. See? You can say any language that way you want. Just by letting go, 
but you got to breathe in first. See, the rub is if you don't breathe in, sometimes you have to develop your breathing method because you're, you've never developed it. Some of you, people are singers. I played the tuba. A lot of singers played wind instruments. A lot of singers were athletes, uh, you know, whatever. But if you've never done any of that, if you've never been a swimmer or a, a trombone player or something, then maybe you never developed your breathing. So you get some young singer walks in and sings with legs up here. Ah, is that wrong? No. Not if the breath is inadequate. If the inhalation is not adequate, it is wrong having to press his lips. So I sang as a bass in college because I didn't have any breath development in particular, so uh, at least not for my voice, and so uh, I, I would press it down. But that, you know, it didn't work. Nobody could hear me. You get the wrong kind of resonance. You get tracheal resonance, right? So you breathe in. You drop everything, and in, in, if, I, if I use the, the behind the sternum sigh, the abdomen, let's go. Ah, how are you today? I'm fine. And I can get high notes and low notes, and how are you today? I'm fine. I can do everything I want to do without flexing the abdomen at all, guys. So be sure. Uh, if you prefer to flex it, then you have to absolutely hold it still. Don't let it change. Don't go up. Don't go, ah, 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 ah. Don't sing with up bows. Go, ah, 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 ah. If you start going, ah, 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 you're in danger. The air is starting to push up. And if it slips and hits you in the throat, uh, you're in terrible trouble. You can really wreck your voice, see? So I hope that clarifies some of this uh, abdominal activity and inactivity, which is what, what I want, of course. Okay? We'll talk some more about some of this stuff, though. Bye.